From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Well, happy Monday morning to you. You're getting ready for the work week, but before we get to that, I want to show you and talk to you about some of the great resources we have here for Weather NorCal. We talked about, and you've probably heard about the Weather NorCal app, which I'll continue to promote that here on a regular basis here, but I also want to tell you about a great resource as well. You can watch Weather NorCal from your TV. As long as you have a smart TV, Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, for example, you can download the free app, search for Weather NorCal, and you are good to go. This is a 24-hour streaming channel that has all of the weather information that you need for wet, for Northern California. This will give you the latest uh, forecast for both uh, nor for both the North State and the North Coast. This will also give you all of the neighborhood forecasts that we have six different neighborhood forecasts, which do include the North Coast and not to mention Trinity County as well. This information here is all updated on a regular basis. So you've got the current temperatures always at, at uh, view here. You also have the latest seven day forecasts as well. This information here also updates regularly as well. So it is recent data and it's recent information. And you can all watch it from the comfort of your home from your TV. And here's another cool part. If you're a business and you're looking to maybe save some money on your cable bill, Get a Roku, get an Amazon Fire Stick, and then you can have this running in your waiting room. People always want to know what's going on with the weather, and especially locally. So they can see that here with Weather NorCal and coming in from that 24-hour streaming channel from Roku, Fire TV as well. It's not an Apple TV just yet, but hopefully that'll be coming soon. Okay enough of this self promotion let's get into the forecast here we don't have any big changes in the long range high should be near normal this week rain this week it's not looking all that promising we'll see that here in just a second here here's your forecast smoke though you can actually see some of the haze and smoke we are seeing in trinity county Hopefully it looks like it may dissipate later this afternoon and evening, and it doesn't look like we're gonna see as much of that smoke making its way southward as we go into Tuesday morning. So looks like conditions may begin to improve after this morning. Here's what we have in store for us today. So you can see, of course, the mainly sunny skies inland, a few clouds coming in the afternoon, and the coast temperatures in the mid 60s. And for Trinity County, mid to upper 80s for your daytime highs. Now again, minus some of the haze and smoke we will see in some areas, I do expect to see mainly sunny skies here throughout the day today. Here's a look at future cast and you can see some of the clouds coming into the inland areas but again you'll notice not as much of that cloud cover for Trinity County. That's why we do have the partly cloudy skies inland but sunny skies for Trinity County for today. Now we take you into your Tuesday We'll probably see more sunshine for the inland areas and maybe a few clouds developing in the afternoon on Tuesday and I don't anticipate any rain just yet for your Tuesday and really even next week. Let's take a look at next week Wednesday Thursday, look at no rain. Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, no rain. Now you may recall, I was talking even as early as last Friday, last Saturday, the potential for some rain making us way to the higher elevations, especially for the end of this week and into next weekend. But as of right now, the latest forecast models are keeping us dry now. So for now, and that's why I never really wanted to put a chance for rain in my forecast because I was waiting for more consistency from the long range forecast models. They're still fairly inconsistent. We'll have to wait and see if they reintroduce that chance for rain sometime this week for rain. But as of right now, it's not looking all that promising. Now, temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer by the end of the week, low 90s, and then a slight dip in our temperatures by the second half of the weekend into early next week. Your wave heights, they are increasing a little bit here today up to about six feet. As we take you into your Tuesday afternoon, we're not gonna see much change, keeping them right around six feet out to sea. Of course, not as bad for the immediate coast. Today, your marine forecast, north winds at five to 10 knots. Your waves from the west at four feet at nine seconds. Now, your high tide will be at 11.50 in the morning, so just before uh, noon today, and there you can see your low tide, 449 this afternoon at 3.1 feet. Could see some patchy drizzle, probably mainly this morning, but could see a little bit in the afternoon as well. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for most of us in Trinity County, a bit warmer inland, 89 degrees for Garterville, and for the immediate coast, temperatures in the mid 60s. Your seven day outlook, 
course, no rain in the forecast. Temperature is not changing much. Basically, in the low to mid 90s for the next seven days for both Hoopa and not to mention Weaverville. Weaverville maybe not as warm, maybe more like the upper 80s and low 90s for those daytime highs. And looking at your seven day outlook for Eureka, we've got those temperatures in the mid 60s pretty much for the next seven days with overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s.